right. <clears throat> Good morning, friends. Thank you for being here. Thank you for practicing with me. My name is David. As always, grateful to share this practice with you. And today's practice is focused on anxiety. This is a wake up and flow practice. So um, we're going to go nice and smooth throughout the practice. We have 75 minutes together. Do what you can. If it's a whole 75 minutes. Awesome. Uh, if you only want to be here for the first portion, then take off. Awesome too. Uh, whatever your body's needing today, please listen to it. But uh, a topic that comes up um, a lot in the clinics I work with and some of the, the corporations I work with is a, uh, the topic of anxiety. And depending how, whether it's the familiar culture or the corporate culture, Anxiety can run through a company and it can destroy personnel, it can destroy productivity, and also on the back end of that, the revenue stream can also be affected. But in a bigger focus, the people are what is affected. And anxiety comes from a lot of different things. It can come from doubt, from worry, from fears. Um, it's typically through a sensation. Anxiety itself can sometimes be very difficult to use words, but uh, if you ever work in a clinic setting, most people uh, might not be able to put words to what it is they're feeling. It's just sort of this jitteriness or anticipation that may be coming up inside of them, even though there is no apparent threat or danger for them to be facing. And it's very difficult to go through life that way because we're constantly like looking over our shoulder What's next? What's next? What's next? We can never really fully be in the moment. And so by practicing things like yoga, meditation, mindfulness, Tai Chi, uh, Qigong, there's other all sorts of different types of mindfulness practices. I only, you know, I choose to choose this modality. But through that and through the practice in time, we can begin to overcome anxiety. Now, a common thread between all of these practices is the breath in learning to breathe, slowing things down. And I talk about this a lot because the breath is the main conduit to life, but also when we put our attention towards the breathing process, as I've said before, we're not giving the mind and the thoughts and the act other activities of the body as much attention. We take a break and we put that down to focus on one area, and that is the breath. Now, Corey Ten Boom said, worrying is carrying tomorrow's load with today's strength, carrying two days at once. It is moving into tomorrow ahead of time. Worrying doesn't empty tomorrow of its sorrow. It empties today of its strength, or it robs today of its strength. Lemony Snicket said, to hear the phrase, our only hope, always makes one anxious. Because it means that if the only hope doesn't work, there is nothing left. So watching how we phrase things can also change our experience with the anxiety that we may be feeling. Robert too said, trust yourself. You've survived a lot and you'll survive whatever is coming. Trust yourself. And so anxiety can also come from lack of trust when we don't trust the people we work with, when we don't trust our friends, our relationships, our partnerships, when we specifically don't trust ourselves, okay? The more that we can practice trust, start small, get larger, the more we can practice trust, the more of that anxiety we can also eat up too, so that way it's not something that is a commonality that just consistently shows up for us. Pima Chodron said, inner peace begins the moment you choose not to allow another person or event to control your emotions. And what I find too with working with individuals with anxiety is that they are affected by the outside. Whatever's taking place outside of them brings up an emotion and then that emotion runs away with them. Okay? It is remembering that we are in control of our emotions. It doesn't mean to not feel our emotions, okay? Because there's a difference between uh, having control over our emotions and not feeling. We're human beings. We should feel our emotions, no matter what emotion it is. However, 
when we let that emotion get the best for us and start putting a story to it and a narrative into it, that's where we can get caught up in anxiety because then we feel like, oh, the emotion is never going to go away, even though subtly we are choosing to experience that emotion too. Thich Nhat Hanh said, smile, breathe, and go slowly. So as we move in our practice today, we're going to start off moving very slowly, taking our time. There's no rush for any of it. And as just a little point um, of reference to, in the book, You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hayes, she said, anxiety is not trusting the flow and the process of life. Again, anxiety is not trusting the flow and the process of life. Where are we not trusting the flow? That's coming up for a reason for us if we're not trusting it. Where are we not trusting the process of life? Okay, many times the ego can get in the way, our personal wants and desires and expectations can get in the way, and that can also cause anxiety too because what we are thinking in our head is not being matched up with the reality that we are experiencing. And so, loosely speaking, let go of attachments. Let go of as much as you can. By doing so in the process and in time, we begin to overcome that anxiety. And she uses this affirmation as a way to do that. She says, I love and approve of myself and I trust the process of life. I am safe. And I'll say that again. I love and approve of myself, and I trust the process of life. I am safe. The less I we put into life, and the more we that we put into it, life naturally smooths out for us. Better and better and better. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into our practice. We're going to start in a comfortable cross-seated position today. As we start in a comfortable cross-seated position, Please place the hands on the knees, palms face down, closing the eyes. And as you close your eyes, spread through the collarbones, draw the shoulder blades down the back, long spine, relax the face, lips, eyes, mouth, and forehead. And begin to let go of your day. Let go of your morning. Let go of what's next and what's to come. If you've had some anxiety lately, let us use this time to focus on our breath. Take note of how you're feeling right now. And then observe how you're feeling at the end of the practice. Observe your breath. Observe the inhales and the exhales. Observe the depth of the breath, the pace of the breath, and the balance of the breath. And let's begin to breathe together. Please take a long, slow breath in. Fill your lungs. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, fill lungs up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, fill lungs up. Exhale, let it go. And inhale, fill lungs up.
Exhale, let it go. Continue breathing on your own. Remain still and just observe what comes up as you breathe. Check in, observe any tension, tightness, soreness, imbalances of any kind. And as we move deeper into our practice, breathe deep, take breaks, most importantly, listening to your body. Place the left hand over the heart, place the right hand on the navel, lift the chest up a little bit more. Let's begin to deepen the breath. Please take a long, slow, deep breath in, feel the chest expand, collarbones spread, shoulders down the back, long spine, relax the face, lips, eyes, mouth, and forehead. Hold your breath at the top of the inhale. Exhale, let it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Again. Please take another long, slow, deep breath in. Feel the navel rise, chest expand, collarbones spread, long spine, shoulders down the back, relax the face, lips, eyes, mouth, and forehead. Hold your breath at the top of the inhale. Exhale, let it go. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. And one more time, setting an intention for your practice. Please take a long, slow, deep breath in. Navel rises, chest expands, collarbones spread, shoulders down the back, long spine, relax the face, lips, eyes, mouth, and forehead, holding your breath at the top of the inhale. This time, sip in once, sip in twice, sip in three times, hold your breath at the top, and as you hold your breath, set a clear, focused goal or intention for your practice. See it happening, be clear, be specific with it, manifest it into your life. Exhale, let it go. Smooth breath in. Breath out. We'll do an OM together, inhaling. Oh. Inhale, fill lungs. Exhale, please release the hands down to the knees, softly blink the eyes open, and then switch the crossing of your legs. Other shin on top, with the other shin on top, hands on knees, palms face down, lift the chest up, inhale. Exhale, start to circle the head up. Go slow. Again, taking our time as we move, there is no rush. Good. Roll the shoulders out. 
If we've been anxious about the news lately, maybe take some time today and not look at the news. Go for a walk. If we felt a little bit of anxiety from what we may have seen on social media, maybe we take a little break from that too. Take your time. Start to circle your spine out. Go slow. If we've had a little bit of anxiety from work, Maybe schedule some time for vacation. And I realize that there will be many reasons and excuses for not taking this time that our companies give us to make sure that we have good mental health. But take your time. You have every right to take that vacation time. If you work for yourself, make sure that you are taking time off. For example, Shelly and I are taking about five to six days to go to Sedona next week because we need the time off. Make sure you are taking care of your health. That will help with anxiety. With your next inhale, please rise up, lift the chest. And on the exhale, circle the head in the opposite direction. And then roll the shoulders out. Good. Roll your spine out. Big circle. Remember, we are in charge of our health. It's a beautiful responsibility to have. And the more responsible we are of it, the more we can counter any anxiety that begins to show up for us. With the next inhale, please rise up. On the exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweep the arms up, reach up, interlace the hands and press the palms upwards towards the sky. And as you press your palms upwards towards the sky, wrap the triceps forward, feel the shoulder blades press against the back, and slowly start to circle your arms out. You'll feel this in the side back, maybe in the rib cage just a little bit. Go for five. Four, three, two, one. Take it in the opposite direction. Go for five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Separating the hands. Inhale, reach. Palms face one another. Exhale, float the arms down along the sides. Let's come on to our hands and knees, tabletop positions. As we come into our hands and knees, tabletop position, shoulders over the wrists, the hips are over the knees, the hands are wide open. Root down through your palms and fingertips. Firm the inner elbows towards one another. And as you press down through your palms, on an inhale, pull the heart forward, look forward. Exhale, chin to the chest, round the spine, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, pull the heart forward, look forward. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone. Inhale. Pull the heart forward, cow. Exhale, cat pose, round the spine. 
Take it through five more rounds on your own, inhaling. Exhaling. Beautiful. Once you finish your fifth round, please find a neutral spine. As we find a neutral spine, on the inhale, extend your left leg back, flex the left foot, left heel presses back, come on to the right fingertips. And then from here, maybe reach your right hand forward. So sometimes when we feel out of balance, that can create anxiety for us too. Just watch the internal narrative that comes up as we hold this form of balance. Left heel presses back. Feel your left quadricep. As you feel your left quadricep, open your right hand a little bit wider. Press down through your left hand. Inhale. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, we extend. Exhale, we bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhaling, bend. And inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, please extend. Exhale, right hand down, left knee to the ground. On your next inhale, please extend your right leg back. Press your right heel back, right thigh parallel with the ground. Root down through your right palm, come on to the left fingertips. If that feels good, please reach your left arm forward, left thumb points upwards towards the sky. Left arm parallel with the ground. And hold for a moment, just check in with your balance. Where do things feel a little bit unstable in your body? What can you contract to create more stability? Find your core muscles. Instead of focusing on the narrative, how we may be out of balance, focus on what we can engage in to create balance because one gives way towards the other. Inhale. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, smooth extension. Exhale, elbow to knee. And inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left hand down right knee to the ground. Beautiful. Rooting down through your palms, start to circle your hips out. One way to break up anxiety too is laughter. Laugh a little bit more. Read things that bring humor to your life, that engage you, tickle your funny bone, whatever. Life does not have to be as serious as we think it has to be. Remember, we create the seriousness to it. Go for five, four, three, Two, and one, opposite direction, circle it out. Roll the shoulders, bend the elbows, circle the head. Beautiful. 
Take a few more rounds this direction. Let's come back towards center, rooting down through your palms. Please tuck your toes, lift your knees, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Pedal the feet out, bend the knees, walk the dogs out. And I realize two individuals that struggle with obsessive compulsive disorder, that can cause a lot of anxiety too. Uh, perfectionists, sometimes called neat freaks. I think that's kind of a, uh, um, a harsh term to use towards people. Um, but if you're using that in your language, I would recommend maybe not using that as much. But it can, Individuals that struggle with perfectionism also typically struggle with anxiety. And it's important to at least acknowledge that. I'll talk about it a little more in a moment. Separate the hands about shoulders distance apart. Separate the feet about hips distance apart. Turn the heels slightly outwards. Press your chest towards your thighs. Press out of your shoulders. Firm the inner elbows in. And the reason why I mention the name out loud, Neat Freak, no one I know of likes to be called a freak. It just, it's a terrible name to call somebody, um, even in jest. Uh, I know that we can sometimes play with that, but again, words are incantations, words are spells, and if we aren't careful about what we say, um, we start to create that reality for ourselves. So I'd recommend maybe letting go of that particular narrative or phrasing. But for individuals that struggle with perfectionism, um, everything needing to be in the right place, and if it's not anxiety, um, there's a level of control that is there. There's honestly sometimes some trauma, there's some uh, other things going on too that may be a result of that. Best thing is, is practice compassion, learning to let go, slowing things down, breathing more deeply, taking more walks, getting outside into nature, stepping away from work more often. Um, that obsessive compulsiveness can also be driven from family factors. Press out of your shoulders. As you press out of your shoulders, root through your palms. Continue to press your chest towards your thighs. On an inhale, lift your hips and heels high into the air. Exhale, press chest towards thighs, lower your heels towards the ground. And again, inhale, lift hips and heels high into the air. Exhale, press the chest towards the thighs, lower your heels down towards the ground, downward facing dogs. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Holding postures for a long time too can cause anxiety. On the inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to forehead, round the spine, shift forward. Inhale, right leg lifts up and back, look between your hands. Exhale, step your right foot between the hands, lower your left knee down towards the ground. On the fingertips, inhale, lift the chest, sit into the hips, look forward. Exhale, please glide your hips back and straighten through your right leg. Two more times, inhale, bend into right knee, sit into the hips, look forward. Exhale, hips back, lengthening through your right leg. And inhale, bend into the right knee, sit into the hips, look forward. Exhale, hips back, lengthening through your right leg. On an inhale, please bend into your right knee, lift your left knee off your mat. And on the exhale, walk your hands to the left, come into a wide-legged forward fold, pigeon toe the feet. Inhale, half lift, length and spine. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, half lift, length and spine. Exhale, folding it in. And inhale, half lift, length and spine. Exhale, fold it in. 
On an inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend into your right knee, walk the hands to the front of the mat, pivot on the feet, runner's lunge. Planting the palms, inhale, step your right foot back, plank positions. Exhale, shift forward, lower knees, lower chest, lower chin down to the ground. Inhale, cobra pose, peel the heart up. Exhale, lower the chest down. Come on to your fingertips. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift chest up. Exhale, lower down. And inhale, lift chest up. Exhale, lower down. Slide the hands back by the low ribs. Press back into a child's pose. Inhaling. Exhale, let it go. On an inhale, shift forward, tabletop positions. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. On an inhale, please lift your left leg high into the air. Three-legged dogs, look forward. Exhale, quietly step your left foot between the hands, lower your right knee down, untuck the right toes. On the fingertips, inhale, lift the chest, sit into the hips, look forward. Exhale, hips back, lengthening through your left leg. Inhale, please bend into your left knee, sit into the hips, look forward. Exhale, hips back, lengthen through your left leg. And inhale, please bend into your left knee, sit into the hips, look forward. Exhale, hips back, lengthen through your left leg. On an inhale, please bend into your left knee, tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, runner's lunge. And on the exhale, walk your hands to your right, wide-legged forward fold, pigeon toe the feet. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, folding in. This time, inhale, rise, reach upwards and our palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, arms out to the sides, reach and rise up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, hands, fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold it in. Inhaling, rise, reach upwards, palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms out to the sides, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards, palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Moving on, inhale, arms out to the sides, reaching up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, hands, fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, bend into your left knee, walk the hands to the front of the mat, pivot on the feet, runner's lunge. Planting the palms, inhale, step your left foot back, plank position. Exhale, shift forward, lower knees, lower chest, lower chin to the ground, come on to the fingertips. On an inhale, peel the heart up, lift the chest up, cobra. Exhale, lower the chest down. Inhale, lift the chest up, cobra pose. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower. Slide the hands back by the low ribs. Inhale, press back into a child's pose. Exhale, let it go. 
On an inhale, shift forward, tabletop position. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. On an inhale, please come high on tiptoes, bend the knees, look between the hands. At the base of the exhale, step, hop, or float your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, lengthen your spines. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards and our palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Take a moment, drop the chin down towards the chest, close the eyes. Come back to your intentions for your practice today. Please take a long, slow, deep breath in. Fill the lungs all the way up. Sip in a little more air. See your intentions happening. And then exhale, release the breath. Arms down along the sides. Take the gaze forward out in front of you. On an inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. Palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Hands, fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine, keep the spine long. Exhale, plant the hands, step your feet back into a plank position. Inhale, shifting forward. Exhale, bend elbows, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Deep breath in, fill lungs up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, high on tiptoes, bend knees, look between the hands. Base of the exhale, step or float the feet forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, folding it in. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards, palms touch. Exhale, hands of the heart center. Inhale, arms sweep forward and up. Exhale, forward fold, hands fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float the feet back. Lower halfway down, Chakadanga. Roll over toes, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Deep breath in, fill lungs up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, high on tiptoes, bend knees, look between the hands. Base of the exhale, step or float the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards, palms touch. Exhale, hands of the heart center. One more round. Inhale, arms reaching up. We use the Surya A's to help warm the body up. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float the feet back, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Full breath in, exhale, let it go. On an inhale, high on tiptoes, bend knees, look between the hands. Base of the exhale, step or float the feet forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, chair pose, get low in the hips. And exhale, press to rise, come all the way up. 
Hands to the heart center, samastitihi. Moving on, inhale, chair pose, get low in your hips. As you get low in your hips, pause for a moment. As you pause for your moment, bring your hands to your heart. Now, as you bring your hands to your heart, sit into your hips just a little bit more. Now, reach your hips back and try to parallel your spine with the ground. Spread through the collarbones. Press your palms together. As you press your palms together, lift the head just a little bit. Take the gaze about two to three feet out in front of you. Now, from here, begin to lift your heels off the ground. Just see how that feels. How high can you lift your heels off the ground? Hold for five. Four, three, chest to the thighs, two, and one, heels down, inhale, chair, arms reach up, exhale, press to stand, come all the way up, hands of the heart center. Every yoga posture may bring up some subtle anxiety, breathe through it, slow it down. Moving on, inhale. Chair pose, low in the hips. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant fingertips, step your left foot back, micro bend the left knee. Stack the right knee over the right ankle, firm the right hip in, push down through your right foot. Then on an inhale, rise, crescent lunge. As we come into our crescent lunge, we bend into our right knee, start to press your left heel back, straightening through the left leg. Now where we tend to lock up here is through the psoas hip flexors. So press your left heel back, keep the left thigh engaged, bend into your right knee a little more, wrap your triceps forward, hands open wide. Feel the shoulder blades press against the back, spread through the collarbones. Hold for five, four, three, two, inhale, palms touch, exhale, hands to the ground, step your left foot to the top of the mat, inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the fingertips, step your right foot back, micro bend the right knee. Left knee stacks over the left ankle, left hip firms in, but keep the right frontal hip point lifting, elongate your spine. Now pressing down through your left foot on an inhale, please rise, crescent lunge, arms reach up towards the sky. As the arms reach upwards, start to press your right heel back, straightening through the right leg. Right hip forward, left hip firms in, bend into your left knee just a little bit more. Hands are wide open, spread to the palms. And get a little lower in your hips. Breathe through it. Watch and observe what comes up as you hold the posture. Anxiety may start to show up. Why are we holding the posture this long? What sorts of questions like that may come up. That's where we just notice the internal monologue, acknowledge that it's there, but then feed it with something else. Look at how strong I'm feeling today, as opposed to how long are we gonna be here today? It's all about where we put our focus and attention. On the inhale, our palms touch. Exhale, hands down, step your right foot to the top of the mat, forward folds. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, low in the hips. Exhale, press to stand, come up. Hands to the heart center, samastiti. Let's flow a little more. Inhale, chair pose, low in the hips. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. 
Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop your feet back, lower down halfway, chaturanga, back bend. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobras. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. On an inhale, lift your right leg high, gaze between the hands. Exhale, step your right foot between the hands, left heel down, heel to heel alignment. Inhale, please rise, warrior one, arms reach upwards. Exhale, warrior two, split the arms, adjust the feet, heel to arch alignment. Inhale, flip the right palm, reverse. Left hand, left thigh, right fingertips reach up and back. Exhale, side angle pose, right elbow, right thigh, left arm reaches and extends. Inhaling, reverse, left hand, left thigh, right arm reaches up and back, work into the side waistline. Exhale, side angle, right elbow, right thigh, left arm reaches and extends. Inhale, reverse, left hand, left thigh, right arm reaching up and back, one more time. Exhale, side angle, right elbow, right thigh, left arm reaches and extends. Now on the inhale, please rise up, warrior two. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. Inhale, bend into your right knee. Exhale, straighten the right leg smoothly. One more, inhale, bend right knee. And exhale, straighten the right leg. Inhale, right hip draws back, right arm reaches forward. Exhale, triangle pose, right hand to the right shin or a block, left arm reaching upwards. From here, slowly start to circle your left arm out. Go for five, roll the chest open. Four, press the right big toe down. Three, two, if you fall out of balance, it's okay. One, Take the arm in the opposite direction. Go for five. Roll the hip open. Four. Three. Two. And one. Left arm up. Inhale, bend into your right knee. Reverse, left hand, left thigh. Right hand reaches up and back. Exhale, windmill the hands down towards the ground. Step your right foot back, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Back bend, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, left leg lifts high, three-legged dogs. Exhale, step your left foot between the hands, lower your right heel to the ground, heel to heel alignment. Inhale, please rise, warrior one, arms reach upwards. Exhale, warrior two, split the arms, adjust the feet, heel to arch alignment. Inhale, flip your left palm, reverse, right hand, right thigh. Reach the left arm up and back. Exhale, side angle pose. Left elbow, left thigh. Right arm reaches and extends. Inhaling, reverse. Right hand, right thigh. Left arm reaches up and back. Exhale, side angle. Left elbow, left thigh. Right arm reaches up and over. And inhaling, reverse, right hand to the right thigh, left arm reaches up and back. Exhale, side angle, left elbow, left thigh, right arm reaches up and over. On the inhale, please rise up, warrior two. Exhale, straighten through your left knee. Inhale, bend into left knee. Exhale, straighten left leg. Inhale, bend into left knee. And exhale, straighten through the left leg. 
Inhale, left hip back, left arm reaches forward. Exhale, left hand to left shin, right arm reaches upwards towards the sky. Slowly start to circle your right arm out, working on balance for five. Roll your left rib cage open. Four. Three. Two. And one. Opposite direction, go for five, four, three, two, and one. Right arm up. On the inhale, bend into your left knee, reverse, right hand, right thigh, left arm reaches up and back. And on the exhale, windmill the hands down towards the ground. Shoot your left foot back, three limb planks. Inhale, shift forward. Lower halfway, Chaturanga. Back bend, inhale, upward facing dog or cobras. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Full breath in. Exhale, letting it go. On an inhale. High on tiptoes, bend knees, look between the hands. Base of the exhale, step or float the feet forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, chair pose, low in the hips. And exhale, press to rise, come all the way up. Hands of the heart center, samastitihi. Please bring your left knee into your chest. Find the balance. And listen, if you fall out of it, you fall out of it. I fall all the time. It's all good. It just happens. It's a happy little mistake. Or as Bob Ross says, it's a happy accident. There are no accidents, just happy mistakes. Or other way around. There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. Arms reach upwards, inhale. Exhale, cross your left thigh over the right. Take your right arm over the left. Eagle pose, Gerudasana. Squeeze the thighs, lift the elbows, forearms away from the nose, spread through the collarbones. So again, we're focusing on anxiety. What thoughts are coming up in this pose for you? Breathe through it. Hold for five. Four, three, two, one, unwind, inhale, chair pose, arms reaching up, exhale, press to stand, come all the way up, hands to the heart center, samastitihi, rooting down through your left foot, on an inhale, please bring your right knee into your chest, find your balance, where is their shakiness? Where does it feel like there may be some instability? The more we practice this type of work, that stability is created. We can't expect it to get any better if we're not practicing it. Arms reaching up, inhale. Exhale, cross the right thigh over the left. Take your left arm over the right. Elbows lift away from the chest, forearms away from the nose, spread through the collarbones. Squeeze your thighs. Hold for five. Long spine. Four. Shoulders press against the back. Three. Bend into the knee. Two. And one. Unwinding. Inhale. Chair pose. Arms reach up. Exhale. Forward fold. Hands fingertips down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. On the exhale, lower your fingertips down to the ground. You can use blocks if you need to. Then rooting down through your right foot, take your left leg back. Standing forward splits, standing on the right leg. Now as you press your left heel back, feel the engagement of your left quadricep. Keep the left leg lifted. We can choose to stay here if we like. 
Maybe we're working on our balance a little bit more and walk our hands back to our right ankle. Feel the articulation of the ankle joint. If you need to have another hand down the ground, that's okay. If you want to go a little further this morning, maybe walk the hands forward, plant the palms, hop the right foot back. If you feel like going upside down and working into a handstand, maybe you're playing upside down. Have fun. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the feet down towards the ground. Forward folds. Inhale, half lift. Going upside down can cause anxiety for people. Practice it. Exhale, fold in. That fear response starts to come in. Then as you come onto the fingertips, press down through the left foot. On the inhale, take your right leg back. Press your right heel back. So lift your right thigh up. The tendency for some people is to open the hip up. I see this with a lot of dancers. Instead of opening the hip up, square the hip off. So you have a little more structural integrity through the hips. Now you can choose to stay here or Walk your hands back towards the left ankle. You walk your hands back towards the left ankle. Feel the articulation in the left foot, the balance. And you can choose to stay here, or if you feel like going a little further, walk your hands forward, plant the palms, maybe hop your left foot back. And little kicks, maybe you're kicking upwards towards the ceiling towards the sky. Breathe. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the feet down. Forward folds. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop the feet back, lower halfway down, chaturanga, back bend, inhale, upward facing dog or cobras, exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Slowly drop the knees down towards the ground, bring the soles of the feet together, child's pose. Crawl the hands out in front of you. How we view our bodies, that can cause anxiety. Know that your body is right where it needs to be right now. We can always work with it. We can always change it. We can adapt it. We can grow into it in a more loving, encouraging way. Deep breath in. And exhale. And then slowly start to walk your hands in, lift your chest up, sweep your feet off to the side, take your legs out in front of you. As you take your legs out in front of you, lightly shake the legs out, flex your feet, inhaling, arms reach upwards, exhale, fold out and over the legs, fold in, inhale, half lift, and exhale, fold. Breathe into your hamstrings, lengthen your heart forward, hips reach back, inner thighs press down. And in checking in with anxiety, is there a narrative that we repeat to ourselves on a regular basis that's causing that anxiety? Is there fear-based thinking that comes up? Somebody's going to take my things. Um, my life is in danger this, that, and the other, like just listen to the narrative. We're not here to judge the narrative. It's just recognizing what is there that is a contributor to the anxiety we may be feeling. And as soon as we capture it, as soon as we catch it, just say, not me. Take a deep breath. If you can see it, it's not you. 
On an inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, let's bring the soles of our feet together. Take the knees wide apart. Ben Franklin said, do not anticipate trouble or worry about what may never happen. Keep it in the sunlight. Thumbs to the arches of the feet, lift the chest, inhale. And on the exhale, begin to lean forward. Crawl your hands forward. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, nothing can bring you peace but yourself. Karen Salmonson said, no amount of anxiety can change the future. No amount of regret can change the past. You know, but for many people, they carry it around. And the reason why I share this message so often is because every single one of you that's listening right now is a teacher too. Just because I'm up here with a microphone and lights on me um, doesn't really mean anything other than I'm just sharing what I feel my teachers have shared with me. But I know that those that are listening are also teaching in many respects too. And it's sharing this wealth of knowledge that is out there so that others can feel good too. If we have a society that feels good and a culture that feels good, good comes out of it. But if we have an anxious culture where we're constantly looking over our shoulder in fear, fear of failure, fear of not being enough, fear of not being accepted, fear of being poor, broke, hungry. If we have a society that is living that way, well, it's only going to quell more fear in the end. It is just the karma of it. And if we want to see things change, it's talking about it. It's moving forward with our hearts. We call it heart forward. And speaking about it passionately, lovingly. With your next inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, fold it in. Inhale, please rise up. Lift your chest. And on the exhale, please take your hands to the outer knees. Bring the knees together. As you bring your knees together, let's turn on our mats and start to make our way onto our backs. Hug both knees into your chest and gently rock side to side. Arthur Summers Roche said, Anxiety is a thin stream of fear trickling through the mind. If encouraged, it cuts a channel into which all other thoughts are drained. So true. Please lower your feet down towards the ground with bent knees. Knees stack over the ankles. On an inhale, lift your hips up. Interlace the hands underneath you. Work your shoulder blades underneath you. Lift the chest. Lift the hips. Lift the thighs. Press the forearms down into the ground. Friends, we don't have to walk around with as much anxiety as we think that we do. The world responds accordingly to anxiety. That is just the nature of the universe in which we live in. Okay, change those anxious thoughts. Catch them. Turn the negative thoughts into positive ones. Because if all we're doing is thinking negative, that is all we're going to continue to attract and it doesn't get any better until we change our thinking. Again, thoughts have a magnetic, attractive power to them. Lift your chest just a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands. Lower the buttocks down towards the ground. Let's do that one more time. Opposite interlace of the hands. Inhale, lift your hips up. Other pinky on top. Work your shoulder blades underneath you. Forearms press down, hips, thighs lift, chest lifts, spread through the collarbones. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands and lower the buttocks down towards the ground. Gently windshield wipe of the knees side to side. Now, points of interest, if you know someone's anxious, telling them not to be anxious doesn't help. Just stop, just stop being anxious. Being careful to, oh, you're anxious, take a deep breath. Like, that's usually not received very well. Approaching someone who's anxious takes a little bit of time. It also takes a little bit of encouragement and understanding. Let's take our knees over to the right side. 
cross your right ankle over the outer left knee. Turn the palms face up. I find what helps is, especially in clinical settings, is just letting them know like, hey, I'm here with you. Because if they know that there's someone there with them, maybe they're not experiencing the same exact thing, but at least they know that you're holding uh, a state of presence with them. From there, reassurance. You know, we all need to be nurtured and reassured in some way, shape, or form. It's just reassuring them that everything's going to be okay. Whether it's children, whether it's teens or adults, it doesn't matter. It's just reassuring them that all is going to be okay. It's also not making them feel bad for feeling the way that they feel, because there's a lot of shame that surrounds anxiety. Oh, you're anxious, then I'm going to shame you. No, 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 no. Um, don't, I would suggest not doing that, otherwise the outcome is going to be negative as well. But let them feel like their feelings are validated. You know, it's okay that you're feeling this way right now. Let's look at, and let, that's where this self-inquiry starts, let's look at what may be causing this without judging it. Uncross the legs, on the inhale, knees back to center. Exhale, knees over to the left, head turns to the right, cross your left ankle over the outer right knee. Now, in the settings where I work, where there's a lot of, um, um, where individuals are getting sober, what comes up is, for an individual that's working through sobriety and recovery, when you take away the substance that pacified them, well, now they're left to their own mental faculties. And that was the thing they were avoiding in the first place, um, was to step away from that through the use of substance. So in um, things like substance abuse and, and addiction, it's recognizing that anxiety is very much a part of the sobering process. But even that passes, it's all temporary. It all comes to pass. And again, it's reassuring that that's going to happen. Time and time again, I've seen it. Take a full breath in. Exhale. With your next inhale, uncross the legs, slowly bring the knees back towards center. And let's hug our knees into our chest. As we hug our knees into our chest, please take a long, slow, deep breath in. Fill your lungs all the way up to the top. Hold the breath. Sip in a little bit more air. Refocus on the intentions you set. And on the exhale, release everything down towards the ground. Shavasana. Close the eyes. And as you close the eyes, just allow yourself to be here for the next few minutes. Letting go.
and slowly bringing awareness to the breath, to the body, to the inhales and exhales. Begin to move the fingers and toes, circling out the wrists and the ankles. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Turning the head side to side, opening and closing the mouth. The deepest, longest inhales all day. Reach the arms up and over the head. Give yourself a long stretch. And on the exhale, arms down along the sides. Putting a gentle bend in your knees, please roll over to your left side. Use the right hand. Press yourself up into a comfortable seated position. And just sharing a few more things to close off our practice, to step into the day with. The Dalai Lama said, Physical comforts cannot subdue mental suffering. And if we look closely, we can see that those who have many possessions are not necessarily happy. In fact, being wealthy often brings even more anxiety. William James said the greatest weapon against stress is our ability to choose one thought over another. And Joseph Campbell said we must be willing to let go of the life we planned so as to have the life that is waiting for us. Louise Hay said, in the affinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. My unique creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. There are people out there who are always looking for my services. I am always in demand and can pick and choose what I want to do. I earn good money doing what satisfies me. My work is a joy and a pleasure. All is well in my world. Please take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Finish the practice with an ohm. Inhale. Oh. Inhale, fill lungs. Exhale, bow the head down to the hands, honoring yourselves today, your practices for showing up on your mats. We honor our friends, families, loved ones, and supporters, in gratitude for the many blessings, gifts, and abundance that shows up in our lives, and in gratitude to the many, many teachers and teachings that came long before us who passed along these practices called yoga. Releasing the hands down, opening the eyes, lifting your chins. In gratitude, friends, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being in my life and my family's lives. If you have any questions at all, please reach out. Know that you're not alone. You, if you want my number, DM me or just text me, whatever. I love you. I appreciate you. Ho'oponopono. Aho. Namaste, friends. Thank you.